Democritus, 4th century BCE, proposed atomos, indivisible fundamental particles of matter. John Dalton, early 19th century, stated matter is composed of indivisible atoms, elements have identical atoms, and atoms combine in whole number ratios. J.J. Thompson, late 19th century, gave plum pudding model, where electrons were embedded in a positively charged sphere. Ernest Rutherford, early 20th century, through his gold foil experiment, discovered the atomic nucleus, dense, positive core, and proposed the planetary model with electrons orbiting the nucleus. Niels Bohr, early 20th century, refined Rutherford's model, stating electrons occupy specific energy levels, shells, and can jump between them by absorbing, emitting energy. Quantum mechanics, mid 20th century onward, describes electrons as probability clouds, orbitals rather than fixed orbits, providing a more accurate atomic model. For centuries, atoms were just a theory, tiny, invisible building blocks. But eight years ago, physicist David Nadlinger from the University of Oxford turned that dream into reality. David Nadlinger imaged a single strontium ion using a combination of electromagnetic traps and lasers. Ionization. A neutral strontium atom was converted into a positively charged ion, strontium plus. Laser cooling. Lasers were used to precisely slow down and cool the strontium ion, bringing it to a near standstill. The cooled ion was then confined in a vacuum using oscillating electric fields. Electromagnetic trap. Paul trap. Preventing it from moving or interacting with anything else. Resonant fluorescence. A laser tuned to the strontium ion's specific resonant frequency excited its electron. As the electron returned to its ground state, it emitted a photon of light. Imaging. By continuously exciting the ion and collecting millions of these emitted photons over time with a highly sensitive long exposure camera, a tiny discernible point of light was captured. That tiny blue dot isn't the nucleus. It's the light emitted by the atom's electron as it's excited and de-excited, effectively showing the location of 